What's that? That murder. Sad to think that an innocent person had to die just because she fell for the wrong guy. Wait a second, died. wait a second, wait a second. There's a page missing out of my copy of the script. What do you mean the wrong guy? They never solved the Flamingo Code murder, Maddie. It is entirely possible that he was the right guy and she was the wrong girl. Yeah, sure, I suppose. What do you mean, you suppose? I suppose she could have killed him, but I'm sure he did it. How can you be sure? Common sense. Common sense. Common sense. There's no talking to you. You can talk to no, me. No, I can't. Yes, you can. No, I can't. Yes, you can. No, I can't. And you want to know why I can't? I'm on the edge of my Because seat. of the way you look at things. You look at everything like a woman first and then a person second. What does that mean? I said what I meant, and I meant what I said. You don't look at a situation objectively. You don't look at a situation like an individual. You look at a situation like somebody appointed you guardian for your whole damn sex. That's not true. And what do you mean, whole damn sex? See? Addison, for your information, I think of myself as an individual first and a woman second in that order. You just keep saying that. Maybe you'll talk yourself into it. What does that mean? You just accuse a man of murder. Of murder, Maddie. Based on what? Based on the fact that he was a man. Addison! Clearly, he had more reasons to kill him than she did. Name one. Her. He wanted her. He had to kill her husband to have her. That's crazy. Why buy the cow when you get the milk for free? What? You heard me. You're an animal. And you're a sexist. What? You're a sexist. You know what a sexist is? Of course I know what a sexist is. I'm looking at one. So am I. You think the boyfriend killed the husband just because he was a man, and that makes you a sexist. I am not a sexist. Oh, are you a I sexist? I am not a sexist. sexist. I'm not speaking to you. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Not another word. Not another sound. Not another peep until we get back to the office.